Action. I arrive on set, my see all those wonderful coloured clothes. There's something so magical about the 50s. It's a really beautiful period. We wanted to make sure that the clothes were very prominent to stand out against the very dusty Drysdale palette, the town and the buildings. We all agreed that we wanted jewel colours. Just something Till is making for me. Cut. Dark reds, mustard yellow, gorgeous emerald greens. It's a fantastic script, it's a fantastic story, because people's journeys are all depicted through the clothing. Our genius here does make them look different, less like themselves and more like they want to be. For a costume designer, this is wonderful because it's all played out in these gorgeous, gorgeous creations. And action! There's something so magical about this incredible colour, you know, beautiful fabrics endlessly being delivered in tea chests. Tell we got in another tea chest. Where from this time? Paris. The town folk go from looking sort of pale and a bit tea-stained to looking like they're all walking down a red carpet. They should not be wearing things that are, you know, Gucci or Prada, and yet they are. They're tottering about in heels in the Australian desert. I just love that. And it really does something very, very striking to the visual image of the story. Stunning. We hired from costume houses, from people's private collections, sourced an enormous amount of fabric, feathers, etc., out of Europe, and found some extraordinary hats through vintage collections. There's more than 350 costumes that she's had to think about and piece together, and she's done that so well with her design. The 50s really changed the focus of fashion. Everybody had to be very austere during the war years. And then Christian Dior came along and changed everything. Dior. Very good, Sergeant Ferret. My design, but Dior inspired. Tilly herself wears incredibly tailored outfits. The details, right down to the things that won't even appear on camera, are very exquisite. I had no idea she was so beautiful. There's a European sensuality and simplicity to the way that Tilly puts herself together. Designing the costumes, I drew pictures of Kate in the costumes and shapes and silhouettes, and then I showed the drawings to Kate. Stand by for rehearsal, guys. It's been fantastic having that level of collaboration with Margot and really keeping Tilly looking very, very different to the rest of the townsfolk. Hey, hey, hey. The red dress that Tilly wears to the football had to be very startling. Who's that? They were either going to love her or hate her, but at that point, she doesn't care. She just wants to make a huge statement. Margot felt very strongly that she really wanted it to have that elegance and that poise and that wow factor, but to not be in any way trashy or cheap. Your dress, that fabric. The film's really about the unearthing of lies beneath the surface. So the dresses and the frocks say a lot about the person. I think fashion should be exciting, it should be fun, and it should be accessible. I'm glad to have met you, Tilly Dunnage. You've enriched my life. That was terribly exciting to create what were really works of art, not just clothes.